So I am so thrilled to bring uh, my dear friend, Michael, uh, to you. And we just have a very important communication here. And uh, most of you may have met Michael before through our work with him uh, to bring through the Joseph Communications. But uh, so much, you have just blossomed. The Joseph Communications is such a, a series of eight books that you as a trans medium brought through this very critical time that we're in right now. And um, since I've known you, all your work has just multiplied. You keep bringing through information from the Joseph Soul Group. And now you've established, we're going to learn about the uh, Joseph Hub. So Michael, why don't you give us a little introduction to the Joseph Hub, and I'll bring that up on screen for you if you'd like. Yes. Um, as you say, the, the work has expanded. Uh, once we completed the eight books, I, I thought that we could, uh, you know, take our shoes off, put our slippers on, uh, put our feet up and uh, relax. But uh, the, the past few years have, have shown that the world is in quite a state at the moment and that we need to urgently connect to our spiritual side, remember our spiritual side, work from our spiritual side. And so the, as you say, the, the Joseph work has blossomed. Uh, to include a, a, a course on uh, higher consciousness living that I developed over a year period and we filmed, uh, the World Meditation Alliance, where we gather together uh, on certain days of the week at certain times to bring through light into the world, uh, further soul group messages that are from, from Joseph Soul Group that we record and make available on our site and on YouTube, and an expansion of the services of the Sanctuary of Healing in Lancashire in the UK. So we've created a hub because all those spokes uh, that radiate out from the hub are connected together. And so people can go to the hub and can access the Joseph Communications, uh, the uh, Soul Group Messages, the step-by-step -step course in higher consciousness living, uh, at the, the sanctuary, and importantly, the World Meditation Alliance at this time. Okay, so on this page, we have the, the four sites that will serve the, the spiritual seeker. We've got the higher consciousness living course, which if you click on the uh, red square, will take you to that. Uh, and if we move down here, uh, it will take you to the modules in the course. The course is free as, as everything is free, apart from the books, which we put the proceeds back into uh, further promotion. Um, so yeah, we've got the, the various modules, which you can watch on YouTube. And there are several parts to each module that will take you from not being able to meditate to being able to meditate, from, uh, from not, uh, being able to move down into your heart mind, to being able to access your heart mind. Uh, you will be taken on various meditations. You will learn to construct a, a sanctuary in your meditations, somewhere where you can go to to heal yourself, to heal others, to send light out into the world, uh, to contemplate the greater spiritual aspects of life. Uh, we will take you on a meditation to visit uh, a higher vibration. Uh, where you can sit in a peaceful garden and, and connect with someone, a guide or someone who has passed over to the higher side of life. Uh, so the, the entire course, which you can move through at your own pace, uh, will take you in safety from being a complete uh, beginner, wanting to explore your spirituality through to being uh, able to effectively meditate, uh, creating your own sanctuary, working with the light that you have within your heart mind, accessing that heart mind, uh, finding guidance in the challenges in your life, rather than looking for guidance outside of yourself, going within to find guidance, uh, healing yourself, bringing light into your body to, to sort out various aches and pains and situations that need to be uh, soothed and transformed and uh, connecting with higher vibrations so that you can, if you have that ability, if you are gifted in that way, you will be able to understand what is happening to you, understand that people are communicating with you, understand how to uh, interpret what is being said to you and shown to you. Uh, 
Uh, and you will also be able to deeply meditate to replenish yourself uh, and to guide yourself through your life so that you uh, evolve your vibration, you quicken your vibration, spiritually speaking, and as a result of doing that, have a completely different perspective on life and a completely different approach to life. Wonderful. And uh, Michael, let's let's look around. You have four different squares there yes. on the Joseph page. Yes. And the so second. we've done the higher consciousness. So you'd recommend that as a number one thing for, for folks to kind of get in the zone with you. Is that correct? Yes. If you're coming in spiritually cold, as it were, if you're coming in and want to know more about your own spirituality, want to know how to meditate effectively, perhaps feel that you have a gift, but it has been a random gift and you haven't been able to understand it or control it, that's the place to start. If you are already a, a spiritual worker and have attained a level of spiritual consciousness that you are happy with, then the next stage is the Joseph Communications. Okay, let's visit the Joseph Communications. This is so wonderful. I love the Joseph Hub because that just brings it, I mean, you have so much that you've brought through that this really organizes it and and uh, gives uh, people a real path that, you know, yeah, and so it's all free. That's kind of, that's kind of wonderful. Yes, as I say, the only thing that we charge for are hard copies and um, ebook copies and audio copies of the Joseph books. And we charge because we obviously have to pay for those to be printed and to be distributed uh, and to be formatted. But we, as we often said, no, we don't take any monies personally. All monies that are raised from sales of the books go back into promoting the books, advertising the books and printing more of the books. Uh, on the site, there, there, there are hours, uh, there are hours of content. Uh, I add to the site a, a blog on a weekly basis. Uh, so you can discover the story of, of how my mediumship developed, how I met up with Joseph, how the communications began, how they expanded. Uh, and there are also aspects of, of mediumship that relate to the Joseph uh, themes uh, that are put up there as blogs. You can also access all the videos that we do for our various uh, YouTube sites from uh, the, this one site, from the Joseph Communications site. And you can keep up to date with, with what we're doing and the things that we are hopefully bringing through from the Soul Group. Uh, and hopefully there will uh, eventually be daily quotes on from the books as well. We're still working on all the sites, but we're pretty happy with the, the place that we've got to at the moment. Absolutely. So, so from the Joseph Hub, uh, it, I went and it took me to the Joseph Communications.co.uk. Yep. And uh, let's look at what you have under media. I believe this is where you have all the recordings that you've done together, latest updates. And tell us a little yes. bit about this page. Yes, we have uh, interviews. Uh, I, I did a couple of uh, interviews recently with Richie Allen that proved to be very popular with a, a new audience. We have uh, soul group messages because um, uh, as the, the, the last book came out, I think I mentioned that I thought we would be able to uh, put our feet up and, and take it easy for a while. But the world is in such a mess uh, that I was prompted over a number of months to continue in trance, bringing through information from the soul group at this crucial time. And so once every three weeks, we publish, uh, we post a new video, a new soul group messages with myself in trance accessing members of Joseph's uh, soul group. And each of those videos is, is on the site to be accessed and watched uh, for free. Um, the, there are very high concepts, very high spiritual concepts are, are discussed. And there are blueprints for, for ways of, of, of living from the soul group. Uh, there's an elevated perspective that we don't get anywhere else these days. Uh, and so it, it is a resource for spiritual connection, uh, spiritual perspectives, and hopefully spiritual values that we can consider and apply to our lives. And yes, we've got there the entire book of the fall, 
uh, in audiobook form that can be listened to for free. And The Fall is such a, an important book because The Fall explains how we've got to this moment of insanity that we're all experiencing at the moment. So the entire book is there for free. Uh, and I would highly recommend that uh, spiritual seekers listen uh, to that book. They don't even have to read it. I, I read it for you. Um, uh, listen to that book and, and contemplate the implications of that book that explain entirely why we're at this point, but not only why we're at this point, how we are, uh, arrived at this point millennia ago as the souls, the spirits that we really are, and how we can work together to get out of this trouble that we find ourselves in. And then I see you also have the story behind the Joseph Communications. Yes, yes. Also uh, included. We're publishing regular uh, blogs on the site. And uh, the, the entire story of, of how uh, my mediumship progressed from working one-to-one -one with people and working clairvoyantly and clairaudiently evolved into a connection uh, with Joseph, uh, how we uh, connected initially uh, as a clairvoyant link and a clairaudient link, and then how it was suggested that I uh, should go into trance, which was something that uh, I was quite worried about before it actually happened, and how Joseph subsequently took over to, to, to get as much as, uh, of the physical me out of the way as possible so that his message for humanity could be as pure as possible. And so the story of that is, is, is there. And we will add a blog hopefully every week. So if, if people come back to the site, there will be something new uh, to look into and hopefully enjoy uh, every week to, to keep that connection with their spirituality going. We, we need that connection. The world at the moment is, is, is sought, uh, seems to be actively seeking to eliminate spirituality from our life. And it is eliminating from life what life is truly about. It's eliminating what we truly are from life. We're becoming a house divided and a house divided cannot stand. We have to have that spiritual aspect. It's where we come from. It's where we really, uh, what we really are. Uh, and uh, without it, we... We, we drain the meaning out of life. We drain the joy out of life. And eventually... We will fold civilization because our, our reason in being here is to explore spiritually and to grow spiritually. If you eliminate that concept from our existence here, there is no point to our existence here. And so we won't be here on Earth. Yeah, this is an 11 part blog, uh, The Road to Joseph. Uh, key moments in, in that road, how it, how it came to be, how the band of light came together, uh, how uh, my spiritual teacher began this journey uh, with me uh, before, long before Joseph came onto the scene, as it were, how everything was, was planned. Um, and, and so the complete story is there. Uh, and I, I'm beginning uh, in a couple more weeks with something called the Joseph Perspective, which is further... Um, reminiscences, if you, if you like, from 40 plus years of mediumship, but which are relevant to the Joseph message. So I relate incidents that, uh, for example, disturbed houses. You wouldn't think that uh, a disturbed house is anything to do with the Joseph message, but it is once you know that the spiritual laws behind life here. And so there are, there, there are quirky little stories from the past that are relevant to the Joseph message and to all our futures. So we've talked about the Higher Consciousness Living course, which is free online and can be accessed. Uh, more for people who just want to get in touch and, and explore their spirituality just beginning out. The Joseph Communications, which is uh, everything from interviews, books on, on, on video. It's really wonderful how you and Tony interact when you bring uh, through like the fall, uh, which you think is one of the most important books that uh, you've brought through. And yes. in a series of eight books, I think there were like three books that kind of had a lead up to be able to explain the fall. Yes, and yes. Then from yes. there, we are gonna go and talk about the uh, soul group messages. So yes. 
Yes, those are accessible via the Jewels of Communications website uh, and also via the YouTube channel, the Jewels of Communications. And uh, as I mentioned, I, I thought at the end of the eight books that we had brought through all the information that we were able to bring through. Uh, trans for me, not for all mediums, but trans for me is a, a very debilitating process in that following a, a trans session, it takes me uh, four to five days uh, for my vibration to come back down to earth, as it were. Uh, and so I'm sort of disconnected from my normal life until my vibration slowed down. I'm also quite exhausted at the end of uh, each trans session, not because the, the communicators have exhausted me, but because I have been freed from this dense vibration of the earth, and then I have to re-establish myself because I'm not dead yet. I have to re-establish myself as a personality on earth. And it's, it's the coming back down and shoehorning oneself back into uh, earthly consciousness that is the debilitating aspect. So after eight books and well over 100 trans sessions, I thought that that was it. But after a few uh, months uh, working on other aspects of the communications, it became uh, apparent that Joseph and members of his soul group had other things to say because the situation here at the moment is so dire. Uh, uh, and we have to re-establish a spiritual aspect and a spiritual approach to our lives. And so uh, once a month, Tony and myself uh, and Jane, who actually takes me to the sanctuary and brings me back because I'm not able to drive afterwards, uh, we, we sit together and we bring through uh, a communication from the soul group, uh, different um, personalities from the soul group, some of whom will be familiar to readers of the Jewels of Communications, and some of whom haven't given voice yet, up to this point, to, to their perspective, because they have allowed Joseph to come through and deliver his books. That was the most important thing to do. Um, so soul group messages is a continuing connection uh, with the high vibration of Joseph uh, and his soul group. Uh, and uh, I would urge people, I would request, I would ask them to, to tune in and to subscribe. If you subscribe to the channel via YouTube, you raise our profile and make us available to more souls. Um, again, this is, this is not for us. We don't get anything out of it except the satisfaction that this information is getting to the people it's supposed to get to. But if you, if you could please subscribe, that would help us immensely. Uh, now we're going to talk about, uh, if we would, the World Meditation Alliance, yes. which yes. is a relatively new addition, I believe. Yes. Yeah, a huge, uh, hugely important aspect of, of what we're doing. Uh, Tony and I decided that it would be uh, beneficial for the world if we could gather together as many meditators as possible, unite them once a week in a common cause and get them to send out light into the world. Uh, as we formed the Alliance, we were contacted by members of Joseph Soul Group. And you're familiar with the, the guiding influence we call the Persian gentleman now. Oh yes. Who is the, the gentleman from the Soul Group who uh, works behind the scenes, as it were, uh, uh, generating the energy, his team generates the energy that allows me to connect with Joseph and members of the soul group in trance. And then he collapses that energy at the end of each session. Now, as we formed the, the World Meditation Alliance, the Persian gentleman began to contact me to say, look, there is an original intention for the earth and its peoples. Forget the materialistic aspect of the world. There is a, a, a every planet has a, a meaning. Uh, uh, every planet brings certain experiences to the souls who visit it in physical form. And uh, the, that ex, those experiences are strengthened by vibrations that pulse out from the divine heart uh, from the, and from the angelic host. Every so often, the, um, the, the vibration is tweaked, as it were, so that another aspect of experience can come to the fore and souls visiting the earth can benefit by uh, working with those vibrations. So once, uh, approximately once a month, PG 
contacts me. And we are given a specific uh, angelic intention. That is a specific frequency put into words that members of the World Meditation Alliance concentrate on uh, and act as conduits for during each meeting. Uh, and so in a very specific way, we are pulsing out to the world the uh, energies, the vibrations that the world souls here and all life here needs at this time to come out of the darkness. Now, we, we, we want more members. We want people who can uh, dedicate around an hour of their time a week to joining in with this ever-growing uh, meditative family to, to channel out the angelic intentions that we receive to um, transform the world. Now that sounds like pie in the sky, but it isn't. As with all spiritual things, the answer to our current problems are simple. And they are, they are not complex head mind uh, answers. They are heart mind answers. The simplicity of connecting to the divine and channeling in the way that things should be here rather than the way that things are here. And so I would recommend, uh, I would request politely, respectfully, that as many people that are moved by uh, the, the prospect of being able to change things positively on a weekly basis, uh, send us their details via the World Meditation Alliance site, and then connect with us on uh, Fridays and Tuesdays in the UK, they will be sent a reminder, and on Sunday evenings in the US, again, they will be sent a, a reminder. Um, we cannot find a solution to our problems at the moment materially. We will never find a lasting solution to our problems materially because we are not material beings. We are spiritual beings. And the, the challenges that we face at the moment started, began spiritually. Uh, I'm not talking about positively or negatively. They began spiritually because that's where all concepts start. So if that's where all concepts start, that is the point at which all concepts can be changed and transformed and illuminated. So the, the work of the World Meditation Alliance is vitally, vitally important at this time. It will give its members, it does give its members, a sense of family, a sense of belonging, and a sense of actually doing something positive at a time when so many people feel helpless to change things. You're not helpless. You just haven't got the right connection yet. Uh, we believe that the World Meditation Alliance is the right connection, that the power that is generated during each session is phenomenal, uh, people experience a peace and a bliss and uh, are, of course, uh, channeling out corrective frequencies to counter the darkness that threatens to envelop us all at this time. Uh, corrective in that if you put enough light, enough spiritual divine light into a situation, the darkness dissipates. The darkness is transformed. The darkness disappears. And it's as simple as that. But it, it takes dedication and it takes time and it takes uh, souls brave enough to say, yes, I'm going to do this. I can spare uh, an hour a week or, or a little less than an hour a week sometimes uh, on behalf of uh, my family, on behalf of my children and grandchildren, on behalf of every soul that finds itself immersed in confusion across this world at the moment, and on behalf of all life here, all expressions of life here, and on behalf of the planet itself. Um, we have to change things. We can't go on, literally can't go on, as we are going on at the moment. And the solution is, is not in the hands of those that suppose that they are in powerful positions, it is in the hands of every soul here, because every soul here is equally powerful, has equal access to the divine within, equal access to the transformative uh, light power uh, that they can wield and can stream out and can connect to. So never feel that you're helpless. Please join us and let's change things here. Yes, the, the, the sanctuary is the spiritual home of Joseph. 
and uh, the, the sanctuary began as a, a complementary uh, healing center. Uh, it still is a complementary uh, healing center. Uh, there, are, there are many ailments that are treated by complementary methods successfully uh, at the sanctuary, uh, but the, the, the sanctuary is also a, a highly spiritual uh, uh, center. It is, is it a place where people can visit to examine and discover their own spiritual path uh, and to expand that spiritual path. Uh, and recently, uh, the, the sanctuary has expanded to include an academy aspect where uh, courses are, are put on and discussions are held uh, centering on uh, spirituality, centering on what we really are and what we're, we're capable of. And this is only in its uh, initial stages, uh, but it is hoped, and I'm sure that they will accomplish this as time goes on, that all manner uh, all aspects of spiritual life will be examined, all types of courses will be uh, presented there, uh, and uh, we will be able to open people up to their own spirituality so that they can go out and do the same with members of their family uh, and their friends and, and spread the word and, and spread the light. You, you've been there, uh, No, that's where we originally met, isn't it, at the... Uh, the it is, and it is the most remarkable place. And yes, I'm just so, um, uh, you know, when Tony said he didn't know why he even bought the property or what it was for, and and he restored it. Uh, it's so it's so perfectly pure. Even that the the paint uh, that he used in the walls, you could eat. It, it's so eco friendly, beautiful. Um, and uh, what he did there. And then along the way, he met you, who was within an hour of where he was living. And you two came together as part of the Band of Light. So the, the yes. story of these two coming together is, is really remarkable. And uh, it is the most beautiful place. I'll have to say, it has one of, at, at the time we visited in 2018, the best five uh, organic, uh, cafes outside of London. I think it's a five star. It's like the best. So in addition to the, the wonderful healing, all different types of healing methods that they use there. And, and that's where you gather. We gather Friday mornings for the meditation. Yes. Uh, it's also a wonderful place to eat, you know, the purest uh, uh, food. But uh, so Tony is just a, uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, building and i'm so it just feels so uh, perfect for that to be the home of joseph and a, a place of increasing power because of course as you regularly use a, a facility for spiritual power that spiritual power builds and you you feel the the peace and the energy uh, as you enter the building uh, and uh, increasingly the sanctuary is is sort of a, a holding position between two worlds. Uh, you can feel that uh, there's a connection with this world, of course, but there is also a connection with the higher world and the higher energies. Uh, and, and many um, soul group members and many high spirits come to communicate with us uh, at, this, at the sanctuary and steer us, you know, because we need to be steered as well. Uh, we're, we're in this soup of uh, dense vibration too. And so we are given gentle guidance, suggestion, never, uh, never coercion, always suggestion that we should look at things in certain ways and approach things in certain ways. Uh, and so it's it, the, the sanctuary is also continuing to blossom and to evolve as time goes on. 